because I thought I saw someone fire one earlier. I'm gonna go back and watch the footage and figure out where that was. Alright. It's a giant thing to climb. Hello, giant thing. I done fucked up with that one. Eyes ahead, don't look down. Shit. I like how it doesn't even let you save yourself because the game's like, eh, you won't be able to do anything anyways. So I was watching this, did you guys see the death battle between uh, Nathan Drake and Laura Croft? I liked how it was done. Like, you know, I thought that they were going to have Nathan Drake win. Like, because, you know, they kept going on, oh, Nathan Drake's luck never lets him down. It's like, well, Laura Croft has the skill. I mean, yeah, luck can save you, but I feel like, I, I agree with them, luck eventually runs out. For some people, they don't even get luck. Like me. I doubt this is where to go. <laughs> oh! I didn't even see that. I have like the worst luck, especially in video games. Like those fucking card games, the Doken Battles, the Blazing, Ultimate Ninja Storm Blazing, I have the worst luck in those. Although I will say this, when the, um, <clears throat> what's it called, when the Super Saiyan drop came, I got all the Super Saiyan, or the Super Saiyan 4 drops, Super Saiyan 4 banners, I got all the Super Saiyan 4s, including Gogeta, and when the, uh, the banner for, what was it, the banner for the, uh, other world tournament came. I got two Goku Kaiokens in the same drop, but you were guaranteed at least one banner character from those. Fuck. God damn it! I'm terrible at this game. The deafening. That's what. That's what they need to call this game. At least when I play it. Fuck, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Played this game for an hour and a half now, I should know the controls. I feel like Nathan Drake, when I pick this game up, is a lot like Markiplier whenever, um... He pl or Mario, whenever Markiplier picks up Mario Maker. He's like, oh no, not to this a loser. Except Nathan Drake's like, oh god damn it. He's just playing fucking the remastered Crash trilogy and he's like, well shit, now I gotta do this too. Here we go. You wanna bet? Oh, I thought it was gonna break at the last second. It's just kind of, I find it funny that Nathan Drake's luck, like, it runs out and then it starts up again. Like, it runs out to the point where he's in a shitty situation and it comes back and it's like, oh, I'm sorry for putting you there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Ouija time. We're just gonna move a little bit. Look like how he's at the at a spot where I can't see him.
There's a lot more guys than I thought. I gotta grab ammo before I run up there. Dropkick! Shit. I was hoping I could pull off an action movie moment. Dropkick, dead, win. Grab ammo and shit. I think I can run up here, maybe? No. There was something back there that I could do. I don't know what the point of being in here is. Shotty gun, shotty gun, oh shotty, shotty gun, shotty gun. Da 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 da. What's up here? I feel like this is gonna be a space balls moment. Absolutely nothing. It's probably just another way to get up here. Oh, there's treasure. Strange relic. It's an egg. It's literally an Easter egg. I like how that one's called the Strange Relic, but it's literally an Easter egg. Gotta be something in one of these pedipalps. I know I just used the wrong word. Bite me. Pedipalps is like... If you're wondering, pedipalps is uh... Basically scorpion teeth. It's hard to explain, they're like, look up, like, I know probably most people won't want to, but look up the, um, like a close-up face of a scorpion, and you'll see like these mouth claws. Those are pedipalps. back
Yeah, you know, I kind of... I kind of like the pistol better, but I also really like the Uzi just because I'm that kind of douchebag. I don't have the ammo for it. Shit. I want to go see what's over here. Oh. Well then. Oops. You're gonna run out of lives faster than you could say oops. I thought no one ever mentions that callback in Spy Kids 3. Probably because no one liked Spy Kids 3. It's not really a callback, but it's like a, a reference to what one of the characters says earlier on in the movies. Like, if you're not the guy, if you're lying about being the guy, your life count is going to hit zero faster than you can say oops. And at the end, the real guy's life marker thingy hit zero. <laughs> He's like, oops. Oh, shit. Machine gun of justice! Oh, I saw someone. It's a go is a spooky ghost. It is a spooky ghost. I remember making someone like die laughing at work with that joke. They're like, yo, who fucking did this? And I'm like, maybe it was a spooky ghost. I just hear laughing, I'm like, they can't be laughing at that joke. I kept repeating it and he keeps laughing. I felt good that day. Then that guy became a douchebag at work. <sighs> no sign of her. It's either very good or very bad. There we go. Okay, whatever you say, game. It didn't even give me the prompt. Wait a minute, what was the other way? It was probably just another way out here, wasn't it? Yeah. I like how all the bodies are there, but now they lack ammo. No parachute. Either really good or really bad. <laughs> 